Work on a multi-million dollar 911 center is set to start in Hamilton County next month. It's a project that's been in the works for years now. As CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik explains, the new facility is being built to accommodate Hamilton County's rapid growth. The calls and demands for public service have grown with population growth. Hamilton County is considered one of the Hoosier State's fastest growing communities. That means emergency response has to adapt to those changing needs. People when they call 911, they want an answer. Hamilton County Commissioner Christine Altman says the county has outgrown its current 911 dispatch center, which sits in the basement of the sheriff's office. So even if I got more dispatchers, we wouldn't have a, a seat for them. The county is looking to turn an empty plot of land in Noblesville into a three-story 911 center that also houses the emergency operations center. This facility will allow us to have adequate staffing and a adequate equipment to make sure if you call, you get an answer and you get help as quickly as we can provide it. But when you look around, you look behind me at all the, the monitors and the computers and all those things, our job has become not only much larger in quantity, but it's become much more complex, which means more staffing, more people, more equipment. Emergency Management Executive Director Chad Kinnett says his agency works very closely with dispatch and other first responders. He says the new facility will help his team expand and protect the community during any crisis. So whatever the role is for us to help with, any phase of that planning, preparing, responding, recovering and mitigating those circumstances, whatever it may be, that's our mission. We help develop the plans for those responses and then we help staff those spot responses. A 0.1% public service local income tax will help pay for the new 108,000 square foot complex. Construction is expected to start next month. In Hamilton County, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Hamilton County Commissioners say construction is expected to last about two years.